In this video, we're going to be doing a zero report starting at kytreasury.com through UP Exchange. This video is people that are new to creating zero reports with UP Exchange. And again, we're going to be starting at the Treasury's homepage. On the left hand side of the screen, we're going to scroll down and click File Your Kentucky Holder Report, including negative reports. Click here. That takes you to the UP Exchange home screen. We're going to click Sign Up so we can create our account with UP Exchange. And this is going to be a free account. So go ahead and enter your information. On the estimated property records, I'm just going to click 1 to 100. That's just a, a, basically a marker there. Um, it is going to be a zero report, so there's not going to be any property records entered, but we're just going to put an estimate in there to just kind of fill that area. Put your company information in on this screen, step two. Company type, you can scroll through pick which best matches. I'm just going to pick corporation, but as you can see, there's financial institution, brokerage, life insurance company. Scroll down for state of incorporation. Report signer. And title. And email again. I'm just using a generic um, email for the purposes of this video. Put a security question in. Okay, and then welcome to UP Exchange, the fastest, easy way to file and claim property. Your first step is to enter your company information, and it says click to add company information. So this is where you're going to put your federal employer ID number in. I'm just going to enter nines in, but you'll need to put your federal employer ID number into this screen. The next few steps, it's basically just going to confirm the information that we've already put in. Um, so just make sure that it carries over the information correctly. Um, it's pulled my company name, KY Treasury. Just put in the display name you want to use. I'm just going to put KYT. It's pulled that my company type is a corporation. I'm going to confirm by clicking Next. And then it says Confirm State or Province of Incorporation. It pulled Kentucky. So I'm going to click Next to confirm. Step five, state um, start date, company start date. Um, this is where you're going to specify your start date, date of incorporation. Um, I'm just going to pick a generic date here, but this is where you'll actually put in your company's official start date or date of incorporation. Step six of ten, company address. That's self-explanatory. I'm just going to go ahead and put in our address. Okay, and this is the signer information. Just confirm that it's correct and click Next. The report contact is responsible for answering questions. Is that the same as the signer? I'm going to say yes for me. The report contact is the person responsible for answering questions. This is the information. Is that correct? Yes. The claim contact is the person who the property owners would contact in response to due diligence letters. Is the claim contact the same person as the report contact? In this case it is. I'm going to say yes. And that's my information. So I'm going to click next to confirm. 
Okay, state assigned IDs. Kentucky doesn't have state assigned IDs that we share with holders, so you do not have to check this box. Don't worry about this page. So step 10 of 10, do not check the box. Just click Next. Okay, so we successfully created. Um, it says, what would you like to do now? We don't have any properties to import because we're creating a zero report. So we're going to go to the main menu. Click here. Okay, so down in the bottom of the right-hand corner of the screen, we see Submit Negative Report right here. So click on Submit Negative Report. Just wait a minute while it check logs. Okay, create a report for this state. We're going to scroll down to Kentucky. And click Next. The current filing year for Kentucky is 2014. Are you filing for the current period? We're going to say yes. Total amount zero. Are these numbers correct? Yes. Submit report online. Click there. Do we agree? Yes, we do. And we need to check the box so we can submit and authorize. Make sure that it says zero. Click Submit. OK. This means your submission has gone through. So this final page means everything has gone through. You can print your voucher if you want to have a paper copy for your record. If you had submitted an actual report with properties, this is the same page that would come up where you could print the page to send in with your payment, um, get your cover sheet. Um, in this case, an email will come to you with this information and the zero report has been submitted electronically to us so nothing further is needed. You do not have to print and send us anything else. Uh, we have received your electronic zero report and nothing further is needed. Um, and that is it. You have submitted your 2014 zero report electronically and you now have an account with UP Exchange so you can do it in the future as well. And you're done.